Hi, everybody. Uh, one of your classmates pointed out a minor error in uh, Lecture 10, and so I wanted to take this opportunity to correct it. It's a, uh, it's a very small error, and it's something uh, you might very well have already caught, but just in case you didn't, uh, I wanted to point this out to you. So if you'll go to the uh, 27 minute and 47 second mark of Lecture 10, you will see a discussion of uh, finding the um, Carnot map uh, for this function g of x, y, z, which is equal to x, y, z, or x prime, y prime, z, or x, y prime, z prime, or x prime, y, z prime. And uh, the Carnot map that is in, in the lecture is right here, but one of those uh, ones is incorrect. One of those ones is in the incorrect spot. So if you didn't catch this error initially, please stop this video right now and try to figure out which one is in the uh, wrong spot. That'll be a really good exercise. And then when you think that you have it, uh, come back and uh, we can do this all together. Okay, so I hope that you were able to uh, find uh, which of these ones is out of place. It's just, a, as I say, it's a small error, but it still is something important to uh, make sure you avoid in the future. So let's just go through these terms and we'll see uh, what I would recommend. And, and, and well, actually, uh, maybe I'll, I'll just go ahead and say that the error uh, in the video came with this second term. And in doing that second term, you know, you know, for each one of these terms, what we want to do is figure out uh, for what values of the variables that the, the term, each one of these is a min term, so I'll go ahead and call it that. So for each one of these min terms, we want to find out what combination of the variables will make the min term equal to 1. And that will tell us where to put the 1 in the Carnot map. And so, for instance, this first term uh, is equal to 1 only when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1. And if we interpret that as a binary number, 1, 1, 1, then that would be 7. And, of course, we have learned how to count in the Carnot map. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and seven. So this uh, this cell right here in the Carnot map corresponds to um, this min term. And, and notice we have a one in that cell. And, and and another way of looking at that is you can see see x is equal to one, and y and z are both equal to one for this cell. So the one in this cell corresponds to this min term. If we come over here to, uh, let's say, for instance, this min term, the only uh, combination of the va variables that will make this min term equal to 1 is 1, 0, 0. And 1, 0, 0, if we interpret that as a binary number, it's 4. And uh, again, counting 0, 1, 2, 3, that would be 4. So the 1 in this cell represents this min term. And again, uh, you can see, you can also, another way of looking at this is to look, that's x equals 1, y equals 0, and z equals 0 for this cell, and that's just what we want, y, x equals 1, y equals 0, z equals 0, to make that equal to 1. And, uh, and likewise, you could look at the other terms, but if you do, okay, well, let's just go ahead and look at this one. Uh, to make this equal to 1, we want 0, 1, 0. And that is the, in binary, that's 2. So again, 0, 1, 2. So this 1 corresponds to that min term. And so let's just draw some arrows here. So that 1 corresponds to that min term. This 1 corresponds to the first min term. This 1 down here corresponds to this one. And, and so obviously that tells you which one is wrong is this one and the reason is that when I uh, talked about this in the lecture I just made the silly mistake and instead of correctly identifying this as the min term that goes to one 
when x is 0, y is 0, and z is 1, I just did it backwards and said 1, 1, 0. So if you think of 1, 1, 0, of course, in binary, that would be 6, which indeed would put a 1 right here. But 1, 1, 0 is incorrect. We want 0, 0, 1, which is the binary for the number 1. And so we should have had the 1 in this cell. So I'll erase the uh, incorrectly placed 1 and put a 1 here in this cell. And you can see indeed x is equal to 0, y is 0, and z is 1. And that will make this min term equal to 1. So I'll draw an arrow from this 1 to that min term. And what I would recommend you do, uh, we've done this in some cases, but what I recommend you do is just go ahead and put a 1, uh, you know, in the original expression, if you put a 1 under the unprimed variables, 1, 1, 1, 0, so you put a 1 under the unprimed variables and a, and a 0 under the prime variables, so you have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 0, and so immediately you see that that's 7, and then 1, and 4, and 2, and if we come over here, 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, of course was that, 5, skip over 6, and then 7. And so uh, there was one term there that was incorrect in the Carnot map, and now you, uh, I hope that uh, is clear uh, where that should have been. And now this Carnot map, uh, this shown here, is correct. And so that finishes that, and I'm thankful to the uh, student who uh, caught that error. And that concludes this brief uh, lecture.